In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to organize your digital files in your computer and how you can actually organize and make it less cluttered. So let's just get into it. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jenna Redfield. I talk about Notion, digital productivity, as well as marketing. So make sure to subscribe for more videos below and make sure to follow up on this series because we have five episodes. So let's talk a little bit about digital decluttering in general, because that's going to cover kind of a bunch of these topics. So a lot of people online talk about, you know, actual physical decluttering of your house, but I think digital decluttering is also such a prominent issue that we just don't talk about. And it actually impacts a lot of your work environment. So we're going to be talking about all of the different things that I do and all of the different sort of structures I've set up for myself that I think are very helpful to a lot of people. If you haven't watched my video about color coding your life, then the 13 pillar program, highly recommend watching that first as kind of a prerequisite for this video because I talk about the 13 pillars and what they are. So if you aren't familiar with that system, highly recommend checking out that video and then coming back to this one because I don't really want to walk through that today. I will be referencing it and I want to just make sure that you understand what I'm talking about. Let's talk a little bit about your computer and why it's important to declutter. There's a couple of problems people have when it comes to their computer. The first one is not being able to find anything. Maybe you don't have a good labeling system. Maybe you have too much on your computer. Maybe you don't have any folder set up. Whatever it is, Finding things quickly is what takes so much time to get things done. I see this so often. Or number two, it's not synced with your phone. Um, one of the most important parts about having files on your computer is being able to access them easily. And if you're on the go and you're on your phone and you need to access something and you can't, that's gonna be a real big problem. The third problem is that your computer can get full of your storage, like your storage gets completely full and you, you can't like add anything new. This happens to me a lot and this is probably my biggest struggle. So having to go through and get rid of stuff to create more space for files is really important. And then the fourth one is backing up your stuff. If you, something happens to your computer and you don't have anything backed up to the cloud, you could lose it forever. So we're going to talk about all of those four things today as we walk through. I'm actually going to go into my computer for the rest of this video to show you guys a little bit more about how I organize my computer, some of my favorite apps and tools, as well as just the structure that I use. One thing I want to mention is that this is not going to take an hour. This is going to take a long time depending on how much you have on your computer. I recommend setting aside several hours to do this or even maybe a full day because again, you might have years worth of content and it's going to take a while to organize and create folders for everything. And so I will just say this isn't a 20 minute cleanup. This is going to be a deep dive. This is like a spring cleaning of your computer and you're going to feel so much better afterwards because you're going to feel so much lightened and be like, I know where everything is and it's not taking up a ton of space on my hard drive anymore. Um, another thing I want to mention too, uh, we're going to talking a bit about the cloud, but also I highly recommend buying external hard drives. If you have a lot of content and your computer is like full all the time, getting external hard drives allows you to have either backups or you can just move files off of your main computer. One of my rules of thumb in my entire life is I try not to keep too many items on a device at one time. For example, I never leave photos on my phone for more than a week. I upload them to Google Photos and then clear it out. So I really don't keep a lot of photos on my phone. That way when I go to like get a new phone, it's very easy for me to just swap because I have nothing on there. So I think what's really important to note for me is I try to only keep working documents on my computer, things I'm working on currently. And then every time I'm done with them, I put them either into a hard drive, into the cloud, or I just delete them. So that's just my, my rules of, of how I use content. So let's move into my computer and we'll walk through that. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about your screen. So as I mentioned before, I use MacBook. So you can see right here that I don't have much on the desktop. I have three folders. I have business projects, clients, and content creation. You can even change, you know, you can use stacks and things. That's another option. I don't actually like to use stacks because then I don't actually see things. But you'll see here I have a couple of screenshots, a couple of just random items, and some, some, some content. That's all I have. I literally have not cleaned my computer. But I want to walk through specifically how I've set up my computer one of the apps I highly recommend getting is something called Omni Disk Sweeper. You can see right now that I have only 22 gigabytes free on my computer 
and over 400 gigabytes are being used, which is a lot. So you can see this happens to me a lot because I use a lot of video files. So what it does is it actually sweeps your entire computer for all of the content that you have. And this is really helpful. I believe this is available for both Mac and PC, but you can see it's going through and finding all of the files that I have. Now I have done extensive work to get things off my computer and yet there's still more that comes in every single week. So this is something that I have to do consistently to make sure that I'm getting rid of stuff. For me, a lot of this comes from using Final Cut Pro, which does a lot of caches. So I need to like delete that every like other day. And you'll see that it will delete a ton of gigabytes once I do that. You'll see like, even if I click here, you'll see that, you know, you can see all of the different things that's holding. You can see I have very few pictures on my computer because I have put all of them in the cloud. You can see that a lot of my gigabytes of movies is from, again, um, my final cut. So you can see literally going down, you can see that I have multiple gigabytes of different things. So some of these I need to start organizing. You can see I have a ton of downloads. A lot of these are projects I'm working on. So part of my process is going through and getting rid of that. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing today, walking you through how I do that. So if I go into the finder window, you can see that, you know, I have my Google Drive over here on the left-hand side because I do have that synced. So one of the things you could do if you do use Google Drive is you can have that um, be on the background and you can actually drag files into there. So that is one thing that you can do for yourself if you are trying to use the cloud. You can also use iCloud over here if you want backup of all of your content. Sometimes it gets weird, like you can see that has this, these pop-up things. But I like to have over here just like quick access to things like movies, music, that sort of thing. So if I'm recording, for example, this is a YouTube video of mine. Um, one of the first things that I do is I like to shrink the file size. So I use something called Handbrake. And then what I do is I make a smaller version of it. Then I upload it into Google Photos and then just delete it from my hard drive. So that would be the first thing that I do is I go through these videos. I would just open up Google Drive or Google Photos and just drag and drop them in, get rid of it. Some of these, for example, are like Zoom calls that I have that I've recorded. So a lot of these are either, you know, client file. You can see they're, they're kind of all over the place. There's no organization, but I do have folders for them. So for example, I have a client folder. I have a content creation folder. So right now I have like YouTube videos. So that's the current things that I'm working on. Um, I also have, you know, so, so you can see that it, it has a system, but I obviously get behind because I'm working on stuff. So I think it's important to note that like, it's kind of a working system. And if I need to find something, hopefully I can go back and find it. Um, it's the same with downloads. You can see I have things organized by type. So I have a ton of different folders. What I do consistently is I'll drag all of these up and drop them into Google Photos so that I get rid of them. And then eventually I just move these to the trash. Um, same with the images, same with all that. With documents, um, I obviously put a lot of these into Notion. So that's one way that I get rid of those. Same with PDFs. You can see I have a couple of PDFs here. These are PDFs I've recently downloaded. I use them inside of Notion, then I get rid of them. Um, but I can also upload them into um, you know, external drives, that sort of thing. If you open up my desktop, you'll see right here, obviously all of these, these screenshots, that's what I've been screenshotting. I will be moving these all up into Google Photos and then deleting. Um, and then the rest of it, I do have a couple of folders. What's nice about this desktop is my desktop is within iCloud Drive. So everything within my desktop is available there. So you can see I have three folders right now. I have nothing in business projects. I have a couple of uh, things inside of a client project. So what I found with the desktop that I find is really helpful is keeping things that I use frequently. So for example, headshots, logos, uh, templates that I use a lot in my content creation. For example, if I go to content creation logo, you can see I have my logos quickly to find. I have all my headshots easy to find. I actually store a lot of fonts as well. So if there's a bunch of fonts that I have, oh, this gets so annoying, I'm gonna close this. <laughs> um, and then, you can see I have things like for my YouTube video, I have the outro, I've got like the Notion logo, and then this is what I use for certain things. Um, I also have some music that I use. There's just like a bunch of things. So for me, that's all content creation. Then I have clients, like I mentioned before. So one of the things I recommend doing is also using the tag system. So like I mentioned in my color coding system, at least on a Mac, I like to have the same colors for the things that I'm doing that I did on all of my other pillars. So for personal admin finance, that's green, content creation, et cetera. So if I go in, I could select all of these and then label them as content creation. So now 
that's just a way for me to organize all of those in blue. That's something you can do. I don't usually do a ton of it myself just because um, it's kind of just, it, it, to me that takes up too much time specifically for myself. So I don't always label everything exactly, but it is helpful for me to know if I'm looking for um, a headshot, I know it's in content creation because that's something I'm making. So for me, this is how I organize my computer. It's important again to use that OmniDisk Sweeper app to organize it, but really figuring out, okay, how am I actually taking all this stuff off of my computer so that I don't use it as this dumping ground, right? You don't wanna use your computer as a dumping ground. I think that's an important thing to note. I hope that this is helpful. Um, if you haven't watched my video on um, the pillars, highly recommend doing that. But I wanna talk about a few other things as well, including hard drives and Google Drive and a couple other places as well as Notion. Okay, I wanted to walk through an example of something that I have on my hard drive. So if I go to my hard drive, this is something that I use for a lot of my projects. You can see I have it organized by the different pillars. Some of them are, I need to, again, organize some of these like documents, probably need to go here. Um, you know, got family, um, whatever, Google Drive, etc. Let's just go into business projects. Um, you can see that I have some videos of some different files. Some of these are presentations that I've done, workshops, stickers. So you can see I have it organized that way. For client projects, I have um, a lot of the different uh, businesses I used to work on. Um, so the different clients that I've had, video files, all of that. And then with content creation, you can see, again, I organize it by different topics. So I have like email, brand assets. So if I go to brand assets, I have headshots. I've got logos, it takes a second to load. I've got, you know, all of the different logos that I've had over the years, you know, tons of different graphics that I use. I've got, you know, music for different things. I've got Notion and Airtable files, which I would consider content, a lot of it's content planning. Then under family, I have home videos that I've made. For friends and social, I have just more pictures from college and high school. So that's, uh, you know, something. So I'm in finance, I have, you know, my LLC and different contracts. Now, a lot of this I have put into either Google Photos or Notion as well, but some of these are just really important documents that I wanna have backups of as well. So for me, again, I use the 13 pillar system in everything that I do. This hard drive used to look like a sh like a shit show honestly it was really really intense and but now I have organized I've spent hours being like okay looking at a piece of content on your on your computer and being like which where does this go do I need this anymore so I don't know if you've ever watched the home edit but they have a four-step process and the first step is edit it's figuring out okay do I need this or not can I throw this away? I'm kind of a digital hoarder. I like to keep everything, including emails and photos and everything. I, I don't like to delete things often, but if it's a duplicate or it's something I just know I'm never gonna use again, I be, feel free to put it in the trash and then empty the trash frequently. You don't want that to get built up either. So one of the things you're gonna do is you're gonna go through all the files. You can also relabel them if you'd like. I am not the best at labeling, but as long as I know, if it's something I need to find frequently, label it. If not, like you can obviously see, I like to view things in the uh, gallery view on my, uh, or icon view or whatever this is called on my, on my desktop because then I can see everything very quickly. So for example, if I go into content creation and I go into like videos, you can see kind of a screenshot of each of them. So even if they're not fully labeled, I know exactly what the video is. And obviously I need to go through and like even organize these further. So I have a ton of different, some of these are original files, which I don't know if I need to keep those anymore because I have the edited version. So for me, I might even spend some time going through and being like, I can probably delete all of these because I can see that the name is an original file. And if I don't want to keep the original file, I'm going to throw it out. So you can see that I have started to create folders within the folder of videos. But again, I, you know, sometimes I, I'm just trying to edit so fast that I just throw it in there and then never get back to it. So for me, having time to do that and actually going through and, and, and sorting and organizing is the second step, right? Uh, categorizing and figuring all that, uh, all that out. Now, I only have 13 pillars for the main umbrella level. So I don't have things underneath, but I kind of just know what the different topics are that I cover. And so that's kind of how I organize. It. That is how I organize my hard drives. I also do this in both Google Photos and Google Drive. I will be talking more about this in the photo and video editing, uh, or sorry, organizing video, so I won't get into that today. But one thing also, I have talked about this a little bit. A lot of the files, for example, if it's a Word document 
or for example, here I have, you know, legal documents. I put all of those inside of Notion. So I don't actually use Google Docs or Word anymore. Um, I also went through my Apple Notes and put everything inside of Notion. So for me, I like to not have anything on my computer when it comes to documents. If it's a Excel file, I will keep those because sometimes you only can use certain things in Excel or in, in Google um, Sheets. But for me, one of the things I highly recommend doing is watching some of my videos on how I organize Notion because I like to put, for example, if I start typing in PDFs, I actually have all of the PDFs I've ever downloaded in different categories. I'm going to view in table view. So you can see that I have a bunch of different uh, PDFs. So if you even open it up, you'll see I have embedded all of my PDFs. Now I download a ton of PDFs from like freebies or websites. So for me, organizing it by category and knowing, and I can actually search this. So if I'm like searching for marketing plan, I have it here and I can find it quickly. So I personally like to have that option where I have all of my PDFs inside of Notion instead of my desktop. Um, I put all of my photos and videos either in hard drives or in Google Photos. And then honestly, that just leaves me, you know, a lot of just stuff that I have to delete when it comes to cash, when it comes to my computer. I would say at least half of my uh computer is probably cash related. So a lot of it is just things I need to delete to kind of get more back. The one thing that I struggle with is music because you can't put music into Notion and you can't put it into Google Photos. So for me, I put a lot of it into hard drives and that includes episodes of my podcast or any stock music or any type of things that are music related. That's probably one of the harder things to store for me. Another one is fonts. Um, fonts are kind of tricky because they're little like files. You can't really put them, you can put them in drive, you can put them on a hard drive, but like you can't always see them very well. There is one app that I highly recommend using and for fonts and it's called FontBase. So what's cool about it is it searches your entire hard drive for all the fonts and it literally can show you what they look like and then you can type a word. So let me just type in my name. And you can see quickly, you can also add favorites, that sort of thing. So font base is great to organize all of your fonts. Highly recommend that. So again, going back to the reason that I made this video, I, you know, I think a lot of people look at their hard drive and it's completely full, you know, figuring out a way that either you put it in the cloud, put it in a hard drive, put it in Google drive, whatever you want, organize it by the 13 pillars and then have an easy way to access it. If you're trying to use content to make content and you're trying to get it on your phone, have a way to access it. For me, Google Photos is great because it's on my phone at all times. I'm with friends and they're like, hey, do you remember when we went to that thing? I can literally search up someone's name by their, by their face and then find that photo within seconds. And that is so helpful for me in my everyday life. So for me, again, we'll talk a little bit more about that in the photo video, uh, video, <laughs> but you know, having systems set up for yourself to be able to organize your computer is so powerful and you're going to feel so much more organized and be able to find things so much faster. So I hope that this video was helpful. I know I kind of walked through things really quickly, but I wanted to get as much in information as I could. Again, the 13 pillar system is what I use for everything. And I highly recommend using it because it is so intuitive. And I've just personally found that it works for everything. And that video was very helpful, especially with the colors and everything. So anyways, this is episode one. I hope that you will return for two through five. We're gonna be digging more into things like tabs and favorites photos and videos. We're going to talk about email, how I use the 13 pillar system with my email um, and other things. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time.